Well, hello everybody out there. It's been yet another week that we made it through the coronavirus. I wanted to do something a little different this time. I usually rant about the stuff um, on a weekly basis. <laughs> I just rant about the stuff that I either find funny or find annoying or anything like that. Um, this time is gonna be a little different. I'm gonna do what I'm calling, I don't know what I'm calling it right now. It could be camera roll call or my camera roll call or camera. Okay, I don't know. This is going nowhere. This is just going to be a bunch of white noise. Anyway, my camera roll call. Wow, ADHD kicking in. I, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting sidetracked on this, on this stuff. But anyway, I'm going to go through my phone right here. Um, I'm going through my phone and I'm going to go over some pictures that I took and share them with you on this video. And maybe we'll have a little bit of laughs. Um, maybe if you like this video, we'll do another video kind of like this in the future. Um, whenever there's something funny or something that I find kind of hilarious, I try to, I try to comment on it. Sometimes I don't even comment on it. Sometimes I just take the picture and forget about it, leave it in my phone. And then it just goes, um, for a while, I don't even know. I totally forgot that I had it on my phone. So I went through my phone last night, um, and found some pictures that I wanted to share with everyone. So, um... Without further ado, let's go through this, uh, my camera roll over here on my phone, and I'm going to go to my first picture I want to talk about. Um, <laughs> this picture is I took in front of, uh, of an Aldi. An Aldi, I don't, I'm guessing Aldi's pretty much everywhere. From what I hear, they're pretty much all over the place. But um, if you don't have one, an Aldi's basically a grocery store. Um, they sell generic foods. Sometimes they sell like, uh, um, sometimes they sell a name brand stuff, but usually at a lot cheaper prices. So a lot of their stuff is like generic. So this one was, this uh, picture was taken at an Aldi where it started to sprinkle and this lady literally pulled her van if you can look at the picture she's beyond the pilings like the piling on the driver's side she's behind the piling she's on the sidewalk and that wall that you see in a very right corner of the picture is the entrance to aldi it is she couldn't be any closer in, unless unless he was in the Axel store all right so now i'm going to the next picture i got and this is of um i came around a corner and there's a cart in Publix just sitting like this with a bunch of vegetables on top of the cart and a can of beer in the cart and beers everywhere all over the floor and this lady was freaking out um because I guess her kids were I don't know her kids were being doing something that she didn't like I, I think she might have even been intoxicated at the time I don't know it's sort of giving her the uh, field sobriety test see if she was even able to operate that cart because obviously she just I'm, I'm she was blaming on her kids but i wouldn't be surprised if she did it she just totally messed that cart up <laughs> i came around the corner almost tripped over the cart because it's just sitting there sideways and she didn't want to she didn't want to pick it up because she wanted to show the management i don't know why she wanted me to take the picture that's another thing i did i almost totally forgot about this part of the story she asked me, I was going to take the picture regardless because I thought it was funny, but she asked me to take the picture because she wanted to send the picture to, apparently these weren't even her kids. She wanted to, she wanted to send it to the parents of the kids to show them how bad their kids were in the store and misbehaving and all that. Rather than picking it up and not causing, and causing a complete scene, she was asking me, a random stranger, to pick this uh, take a picture of it and send it to her, which is weird. The, okay, so the next picture I'm going to, it's a little bit, it's, <laughs> I was trying to make a joke, I was trying to joke around with, uh, my wife, because she, well, she prefers to order stuff on Amazon, and I don't blame her, like, I'm, I'm starting to get more and more tired of going to actual stores, because half the time the stores are just a mess. I don't know what's going on with the Walmart near us, but it, it just looks like somebody took the stuff off of a truck and threw it on the shelf. You have no idea where anything is. It's just sitting around, it's just nuts. So I took this picture just joking around with her saying, oh look, it took you two UPS trucks to drop off your Amazon packages. Because <laughs> it's literally two UPS trucks. 
I think they were just talking to each other, but it was funny at the time when it happened because it was just like, oh, look at this. Like, that's how much stuff we're ordering off of Amazon now. We got two trucks showing up. The next picture I have um, here that I bring up is uh, we went to an art store. I am horrible at art. My kids love it. They're good at it. My wife's good at it. Um, but they went to an art store, and I went with them. I was ha I happened to be wearing the um, Bob Ross shirt uh, that I got from Walmart. And, uh, yeah, I got... Uh, they had this cutout of Bob Ross with the little squirrel guy. The next picture I got is another crazy driver. I swear, I did, the drivers are the funniest to me. They, the, can somebody explain to me what this car is actually doing? The blue car that's in between like that, that silver SUV and the FedEx truck. It's completely sideways in the lane. It's not even like in an axle. There's no way, I don't know what happened. I don't know what they're trying to do. I, I, I just, I don't get people sometimes. I'm just, I just don't get it. Next picture I got in my phone is gonna be a, uh, this guy walking in from his Jeep that I, I grabbed my phone. I could not grab my phone fast enough to get this picture. This guy is legit wearing a full on, um, what is it? A full on like breaking bag kind of deal. Like, you know, when they go make them the meth and all other stuff and they're wearing the respirators and like the full-on suits and stuff that you see on like a of uh, some kind of crazy like uh some kind of crazy end of the world like apocalypse movie that you watch on netflix this guy was decked out in it man i swear i don't know I did, and this was the, that I, that picture i took down here in like uh and i think it is like it was in davie florida which is part of south florida it's just hilarious to me <laughs> The extremes that some people go to. The next picture is just kind of crazy because it didn't make any sense to me how this happened. I was pulling some stuff out from under some ice cream in the freezer and rather than just dropping down after I pulled the stuff out, this ice cream just levitated there over the rack in the freezer. And I'll be honest, for a minute it, it, it confused the heck out of me. I didn't know what was happening. And then I had to actually look at it more and I realized that the there's these little metal tabs in the back of the freezer and what had happened was um, the lip of the ice cream thing got stuck on that and we're basically holding up the whole thing. It's just like leverage and I don't know, all this scientific weird stuff happened and the, it was making it look like the ice cream was levitating. It kind of freaked me out for a second. I mean, first, what was it, World War III, then coronavirus, and now my ice cream's levitating in the freezer? What? The next, uh, the next picture is a screenshot. Actually, no, scratch that. I don't even know what I'm doing. This is the professionalism I bring to this, uh, to this show that I put on every week. <laughs> the ne the next picture is not a screenshot. It is actually a picture I took. I, I get confused because I don't take pictures in, I only take in landscape for the most part. Um, because it just fills the screen better and it looks more professional but I took this one in a, a different way so that's why it confused me um, I took this uh, picture I've been driving for uber eats now rather than Lyft because Lyft there's it's basically nobody's taken anymore after the after the virus thing but a lot more people are ordering stuff online so I started driving for um, uber eats so I found this actually hilarious somebody paid me to go to firehouse subs pick up one single brownie and deliver it to them. Which brings me to the next actual screenshot, this is a screenshot, of how much I was paid to deliver one single brownie. Which is hilarious to me because, I mean, I don't care, it's money either, either way, I mean, I'm, getting, I'm getting paid for it, but it is hilarious that somebody actually dropped that kind of money. And then that's only the delivery fee, how much, I mean, how much was a brownie, how much, the whole thing, I'm just curious. You're gonna, and you're gonna get one brownie, you're not even gonna get a sub, you're not even gonna get a hook and ladder or whatever the heck um, types of subs they have. I haven't eaten in Firehouse subs in forever, but whatever subs they have, you're not gonna get any of those, you're just gonna get one single brownie. <laughs> this just cracks me up. The next picture I got on my camera roll I wanna talk about is, the, is another screenshot, and I took this of um, uh, on, off of Instagram, off of uh, um, Jim Gaffigan, he's a comedian. And he, he posted this and some other, piece of, other people commented on it, but I thought this was absolutely hilarious. Somebody created a mask 
that is arguably probably the most disturbing thing I've ever seen in my life. But somebody created a mask that has like this cable that goes down to your hand and you can actuate like this opening so you can open a ma open the mask up when you want to put stuff like food in your mouth and you, you, you press like this little knob or something that you're holding in your hand and it opens the mask so you can insert food into your mouth. I swear this will give me nightmares for years to come. I don't, I don't know what is happening. So essentially that's what I have for you uh, this week. Next week um, we'll have something else cool planned, uh, some other fun stuff to talk about. Um, other than that, like just stay safe out there everyone. Um, keep laughing. Life is too short not to find humor and stuff. I gotta figure out what I'm doing next week with you guys, but um, I, I had a blast putting this stuff together. I actually forgot about a lot of the stuff that I put together um, just now. I actually forgot about a lot of it um, until last night when I decided to make this video. Uh, so it kind of re reminds me of just the stories and the funny situations that that were happening when I took the pictures. But if in the comments or or in messages or wherever you're watching this on YouTube, on Instagram, on Facebook, or anything, if you want to like link like a, a picture or something funny that you find hilarious, please just spread it around. Laughter is great. It just lightens your day. So just put put some stuff in the comments, share some stuff with me. I love to laugh. Memes, believe me, I got like a ton of memes on my phone right here too. That's all I got. We'll see you guys next week. Um, also, I'm wearing this cool shirt. I'm trying to start a trend. So if anybody else wants to start this trend with me, we're gonna we're gonna try to get people to start wearing Hawaiian shirts again. So um, it might be total. It might be a total bust. I mean, my kids might laugh at me for years on end, but. It'll, it'll be worth it if I if I can if I can make one person wear a Hawaiian shirt like this It'll be worth it <laughs> But anyway, everybody take it easy. I'm done rambling. We'll see you next week